<laughs> Alright, it's Monday. Just dropped off my little puppy pickle at the vet. And now I'm just hanging out with Odie. He's right there. Gotta do a little workout and I'm gonna give him his little 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 treat. Look at him so excited. Alright, he loves eggs, so. Good. 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 Other one. Good. Are you a good boy? I love that he always like struggled to eat it. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do, but he loves eggs. This is like some ASMR stuff. <laughs> Here's your egg. I'm gonna put it right here so you don't knock it over. Eat it. You don't want it? Here. You need me to crack more? Yeah, you like that, huh? Good boy. Enjoy. I'm gonna leave you to it, okay? I'm gonna get ready for my workout. So these guys are taking us along on one of their daily tours of all of the multiple illegal crossings that exist in this urban area. So what we're seeing right now is a whole bunch of people who are trying to cross from the Venezuela side to the Colombia side. But they saw this presence of military police officers and basically all just turned around and went right back across the river. It's all that the footbridges, which allow people to cross the border without getting in the water, were back in place. Es un cultivo ilícito. Entonces, ¿por qué es este cultivo que produce esto? Se ha muerto porque nosotros queremos trabajar un cultivo de estos. Necesitamos entrar con coca. Y entonces, eso es lo que nos atrae más beneficios. Es una autoridad aquí. Ayer me dijo que estaba en la ciudad. Ayer me dijo que estaba en la ciudad. ¿Qué estás haciendo aquí? What you doing? What are you looking at? Huh? You know you're so beautiful. You're beautiful. Oh, good boy. Oh, I know. I love you. Mm. Nice no standing here. We're done. So they send in their navy once again. The British navy decides to escalate things a little bit and start ramming the Icelandic Coast Guard boats. No more warning shots. No more soft core standoffs. <laughs> We are now ramming each other. They decided to pull out their one major piece of leverage in all of this, which was their alliance with NATO. I show my body the very first week of this whole series of me trying to get fit, get lean, get a six pack. But second week, I kind of just forgot about it because I'm not used to showing off my physique, my body, especially since I have a lot of scars, you know? Um, so with that being said, I'm trying to build more confidence in myself, you know? So I think it's good that I show myself in front of the camera, even if I decide later on, you know, not to use the footage so that nobody will see it. I think it's still good for me to just do it, just to slowly build that confidence and I guess get over my scars and be okay with it. But with that being said, you know, I'm still a little bloated from drinking water and my protein shake from earlier. And then I had a banana right before my workout too. Uh, yeah, I think I am losing a little bit of weight. Like, this is not me like sucking in my stomach. This is me sucking it in, okay? Okay, not that much different. I'm still so fat. <laughs> but, you know, um, yeah, just do chest and back today. 
but still get that gain, you know? But I don't know how to do this. We are now going to pick up Pickle, my baby boy. So the vet told me, unfortunately, they cannot fix his um his hip problem. Well, they don't know if it's his hip or his knee. That's like causing him to like hop on his back leg whenever he's like walking or running a little bit. So it's kind of sucks that they cannot just like figure it out after x-ray, test, all these things. You know, it's just frustrating. And then now they recommend that I take him to a specialist. But the thing is, the, the places that they recommend it doesn't take the health care that I have for my dogs. So I talked with them and they said, oh yeah, it's going to be around $6,000 for the x-ray and the potential, you know, surgery. Even if they don't do surgery on him, like they decided, hey, there's no need for us to operate on Pickle. But he still needs to go through certain things to make him better, right? So that he doesn't hop on his um, back leg anymore. That's still around $4,500. And I'm like, what the f- <laughs> So I'm gonna look into it, see if I can find a different place that can help me out, you know, taking care of my pups. I'm willing to put all my money out there to take care of my pups. It's just if I can find a different options, you know, you know, like an alternative route where I don't have to spend $6,000 and I can just spend that money on taking care of them at home instead, I would much rather do that. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. Um, who's pulling into my drive for you? You might be wondering, what the fuck is this box? Well, I made some money betting on uh, McGregor versus Proyer or whatever his name is. Dustin, yeah. Connor versus Dustin. Their match number three, everybody expected Connor to win. I was the only one in all of my friends to bet on Dustin. And guess what? I made some money. Let's say I made some good money. And I took a little bit of it and bought myself some heavy bags, gloves, and like some, you know, boxing Muay Thai equipment because I really want to learn Muay Thai for years now and I think it's about time. Let's check it out. With the gloves. Right? Pretty nice. It has um, RDX on it. That's where I got my stuff from. Cara by RDX. Black on black. I tried it on. I mean, I, ha I haven't wrapped my hand yet, but I did try it on just bare knuckle. And it feels very nice and comfortable. And it fits nicely too. 